went to Coconut Creek Elementary School. I went to Margate Middle School, Coconut Creek High School. I'm a proud cougar. I loved school. I loved my experience. It was a small town. I had wonderful teachers who cared and took care of me and made sure that I studied and I learned and I had a wonderful career because of my education. Mrs. Myers, my second grade teacher, she's the one who took me to the library and started making sure that I was reading a book a day in second grade and I did. So she's the one who inspired me. Yeah, I, I was pretty studious. I, I took all the advanced placement classes I could and, and I was in a, a really good group of kids. I had been in a gifted program, so the kids I was with in middle school went with me to high school, so we were a tight little group. There were probably about 30 of us by the time we got to high school. So it, it allowed us to work and feed off of each other, and I'm still best friends with a lot of them. And, and one of them is still my best friend. She was my next door neighbor when we were growing up. I met her when I was five and she's also a product of the public school system and a top plastic surgeon, and I spend as much time as I can with her. I think it's the key for success, it's the key for a community, it's the key for thriving, healthy, productive people. I think that the community I was in, we were raised as a village. I knew all my neighbors, I knew most of the teachers. We're still friends with my elementary school teacher. It, it was truly a community. I am very proud of the fact that I am a product of the public school system. My parents wanted to send me to private school, but I had already had my core group of friends. I already had my village. I already had the teachers in place, and, and I loved them. And that's what allowed me to thrive. I, I genuinely loved where I was raised and how I was raised, and 80% of that is my school day as a child.